time, honey, come back. Sometime I'm gonna wrap back jack. Sometime I'll get a hop in my back. Sometime I'm going over here. Sometime, yeah, my honey, come back. Sometime I'm gonna wrap back jack. Sometime I'll get a hop in my back. Sometime I'm going over here. Sometime, yeah, my honey, come back. Sometime I'm gonna wrap back jack. Sometime I'll get a hop in my back. Sometime I'm going over here. Nine out of ten Americans would like foods to at least be labeled to at least we know they're Franken foods. Why? Okay, they can't. Why? Because it says it would hurt sales. No, no, no. So no. shut up and eat your your fucking mutant chili. <laughs> That's why. Because. So as we know, um, independent tests are not required uh, for these foods to go in the marketplace, so they're just conducted by the companies that make them. GMO, genetically modified organisms. They take genes from one species and force it into the DNA of other species. And they can mix and match between species that have never normally made it. So they have spider genes that they put into goats in the hopes that they can milk the goat to get spiderweb protein to make bulletproof vests. I'm not making this up. They've taken cow genes and put them into pigs so that the pigs have cow hides. They've taken human genes and put it into corn to make spermicide. And for the food we eat, there's two main categories. The herbicide tolerant crops, they can spray them with herbicide and not kill them. Or the pesticide producing crops, that produce their own toxic insecticide that if a bug bites those plants, it breaks open the stomach and kills them. So they're completely swapping genes between the normal species barriers, creating new organisms that were not part of the evolutionary process. Among the products you buy, GMOs can be found in meats, alcohol, soft drinks, juices, dairy products, frozen food, pasta, canned goods, baby food, cereal, bread, cosmetics, and even shampoo. This is not even half of the list. It is the worst trial and error case in the history of the food industry. The mass poisoning of billions of people with a toxic food crop that was never properly tested. Why shouldn't the labeling be voluntary? And then if you choose, I voluntary. mean, because. Voluntary. No, oh, well, yeah, I know. Voluntary I'm, in America? I'm you've got to be nuts. Right, let's trust, let's, trust, yeah, let's, let's trust the corporations no. to put people's health above profit, because that's what they no, would do. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. That's it's what like, corporations normally do. The Monsanto Protection Act tells the USDA, ignore the courts. No matter what they say, you're obliged to allow farmers to plant this illegally approved genetically modified crop. Really, is this a cause to celebrate or does this just signify the power that Monsanto has where states can't even implement laws that their own constituents overwhelmingly support? I don't want it to be kept secret from me. If yeah, you are, if the argument against right. it from yeah. the industry, exactly. if the argument against it from the industry is that yeah. I will hysterically, as a consumer, make a decision if I see that label not to buy that corn. Well, the solution to that is not then to, to to make it a secret thing that I'm ingesting it, but rather to convince me that it's safe. So, Proposition 37 to label genetically modified foods lost in California by a narrow margin of 47 to 53 percent. Strange since 9 out of 10 Americans want their GMO food label, but not strange since the opposition and its donors, top biotech companies, outspent the supporters by $36 million or 5 to 1. As for these biotech companies, they're really just chemical companies, and that is their diabolical play. Monsanto makes Roundup, it kills plants. They also make the plants that cannot be killed by Roundup. This allows farmers to buy and plant Monsanto's seeds, then spray the shit out of them with Monsanto's pesticides to kill other plants. 
The problem is these weeds evolve quickly, so farmers need a different and stronger herbicide from the chemical companies, who also sell the crops resistant to that herbicide. And then weeds become resistant to the new herbicide. They need something stronger. It's chemical inflation. We just want the same consumer protections that China and Russia have, who also label GMOs as do these countries. But of course the U.S. doesn't, since the FDA, USDA, and Obama administration are all stuffed with Monsanto people. It's become a state-level issue, which is where the $45.6 million comes in. Because if an industry has to spend that much money to stop your right to know, they probably don't have your best interest at heart.